What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, there are times when I'll stumble upon some tech that makes me think, wow Marcus, you really, uh, you really dug deep and found something incredible and this team is actually going to be game changing for you on the ladder. This is not one of those times, we're using x <laughs> I made this team at like 1am three weeks ago. And I have to say, this is one of the dumbest teams I've ever come up with, but I want to use it. And I don't care if we get wins, I just want to use it for a YouTube video so I can say the team didn't go to waste. I don't expect to do well today, and this should be a pretty entertaining video. So, what what is this team? Well, I have an x that's that speed crept to outspeed uh, Dragapult at plus two. I'm actually running Soundproof instead of Scrappy, and there's a reason for that. Um, by running Soundproof... Instead of Scrappy, it makes it so my Boom Burst will not hit my own Dragapult, which I think is pretty important given the fact that I'm using Throat Spray Boom Burst. Like, I don't want to hit that thing. Um, on top, in, in spirit of not hitting my own partners, I'm actually running Telepathy Tapu Koko. Uh, and I know that's really dumb, but it's it's dual screen Telepathy Tapu Koko, so it wasn't like an offensive threat anyways. And I'm also running um, just Metagross because it doesn't really mind taking the hit. But yeah, the rest of the team is just like a pretty standard-ish offense team, if that makes sense, because I'm running Brutal Swing to activate weakness policy on Metagross. It's very standard, right? But I'm using x on lead. That's what this team is. It's so dumb, and I, I just want to try it out. So if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below right now, comment your answer to the question of the day. What is your favorite normal type? I think x a phenomenal normal type. I don't know if I would call it my favorite, but I really don't have a favorite normal type. I suppose, like, I could include, like, Farfetch'd because it's normal flying, but I don't think that flying types really count in that sense, you know? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This will not be my finest hour. This will be one of my worst videos. <laughs> but I want to use it, you know? Hopefully no one recognizes me on the alt account. But we're going to do our best. All right, so this actually doesn't seem like a bad time to use x on lead. Uh, what I could do here is... I don't want to go for Tailwind. It doesn't seem too necessary. I think I'll lead off Tapu Koko x -Plod. And in the back, I can bring... I mean, I don't want them to get... I really don't want them to get their um, Trick Room off, so maybe I should lead off Tornadus for the Taunt. That could be good. I, I suppose I can just bring... Weakness policy Metagross in the back and not really worry about Tornadus. And Landris doesn't seem too awful for cycling in and out. Uh, he could also be a pretty okay Dynamax target if I don't have to play within Trick Room. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. It looks like they are going to be they are going to be going for the Trick Room. It's in my best interest to just click Boom Burst and get off a Reflect considering what they're going to be going for. Uh, they're probably just going to Trick Room up and switch in their Glacier. Uh, something to note as well is because I'm soundproof, I am immune to sound-based moves, which I believe Parting Shot is in that category, so he can't Parting Shot my x -Blad. He can go for that, however, which is whatever. Alright, uh, I'll just go for a Boom Burst once more, and I'm also tempted to switch in my Landotherian, but I kind of want to... I mean, is he going to Parting Shot? I feel like he is just going to go for a Flare Blitz, but I, I could also benefit pretty heavily from protecting and getting off um, a light screen to help out with the Porygon too. I think I'll just do that. Yeah. They're probably really confused. Like, bro, why aren't you running, you know, the good moves? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hold on. No, this is a situation where I can actually click this. Let me go for the Boom Burst. Let me go for the uh, Thunderbolt onto the P2. Because I don't care about Snarl. I'm actually immune to that with Soundproof. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Telepathy Coco and hold up. Now we got more damage. Now we get even more damage. I get like no damage on that though. That's disappointing. Uh, let me go for a protect to bait them out a bit. And I'll actually go into my own Metagross here since Metagross doesn't really care about any of these guys. I could also get in Landris and then switch in Metagross in the second Boom Burst. I think I'll do that actually. They shouldn't be going for an Ice Beam into Coco as far as I'm concerned. I think they should really be targeting down this X-Blood. I could also Dynamax. Hold on, no, the Dynamax x -Plod doesn't seem like a terrible idea now that I'm thinking about it. Let's do that. Let me go for the, um... Oh, hold up. Let me go for a Max Strike onto you, and I'll actually switch in the Metagross. This is a very powerful Max Strike. Yo, I don't care. Give me that weakness. 
what? That's a crit? That's what a crit does to Metagross? <laughs> That's not okay. You can't tell me a crit does that much to Metagross off a of Snarl. I had screens up, dude. Alright, uh, let me go for the max guard here. As well as a protect. That seems like my best play. They're probably just gonna... They might even just protect here. What I can try to do is double into the Porygon 2. They shouldn't be able to take Iron Head plus, you know, essentially Specs Max Strike, <laughs> if that makes sense. 50% uh, stronger Max Strike coming off of x Blood. So I think what they're going to do is... Oh, they're just going to Dynamax. Okay. They go for the Max Knuckle. They don't get anything out of that. I really don't want them to get off a of Trick Room. So I'm actually going to go ahead and Max Strike into you and also go for the Iron Head. And I'm... I don't know if that'll KO. I'm pretty confident it should be doing a lot, you know? And they're probably going to... Oh, they didn't even protect. Okay, well, I get some revenge for the crit earlier. Um, I think I might be able to take a max knuckle with Reflect Up. Yeah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Remember when I said we weren't going to get any wins? This might... I might have just proven myself wrong, you know? I, I might be gaming right now. I might be balling. All right. Um, I think I can take a hit from Finny. Uh, but I want to intimidate with like Lando. I mean Lando's gonna be important in the end game. I can definitely just try to KO this Glacier to be honest. Let me go for a Flamethrower and uh, Iron Head. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Check this out. Nice weakness policy. Nerd! Oh god, he lived. Oh god, he lived. No, that's not okay. Alright, um... Actually, it doesn't matter. I can just click Thunderbolt with Coco. And we are gaming. We are officially gaming. Go for the Thunderbolt with Coco. Nice. Okay, yeah, I don't think they, they take this. They go for a Muddy Water. I can survive that. Boom Burst. Celepathy. That's some nice damage. That's some damage. I'll accept that damage. Uh, they, they should be still within the Thunderbolt range, you know? Let me go for a Protect here. Or maybe I should just attack. Go for a Thunderbolt. They go for a Protect. That does do enough. Ugh, dude. Dude, you did not just lose to... You did, just, you did not just lose to Explode. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> Explode. Dude. <laughs> we did it, boys. We made Telepathy Coco Explode look decent. <laughs> oh, this is already doing way better than I expected it to. It's such a bad team, dude. It's such a bad team, but I'm just, I'm doing my best. Uh, as we face um, Urshifu Thunderous, which I don't know if this is going to be an Explod game, since I'm not running the better ability. If that makes sense. However, Explod does wall. Um, it does wall this thing, so I could try to go for Explod Tapu Koko on lead, and that will allow me to threaten a KO on Urshifu as well as setting up screens. So I'll do that. I will do that. Uh, in the back, I want my Landers because it's just phenomenal in this matchup as long as they don't activate a Defiant on that thing. And I could go Metagross, but I could also go Tornadus since this does look like a team I would want to go fast mode against. Do, do you think that Urshifu can actually take a Specs? Not Specs, but um, if it's if it's not Sash, I, I'm com not, not comfortable. I'm I'm tempted to just lead off with Exploud and try to go for Max Strike into it, but I, I don't think it's safe. Um, I think I'll go Tornadus here. Okay, no, I'll take that. All right, let me go for the Boom Burst and a Reflect since these guys are typically, you know, physical. I'll just go for the Boom Burst. It's decent damage. They can go for a Max Airstream. I don't really mind because I, you know, I have the... Oh, wait, no, I have an awful matchup versus this guy. <laughs> Hold on. No, I might have made an oopsie. Oh, hopefully they just targeted a Coco. I definitely made an oopsie here, not bringing Metagross. As they decide to helping hand. Can you live? You cannot. You cannot. That match didn't happen. <laughs> that match didn't happen. I should have brought Metagross. It would have actually been somewhat okay there. Uh, a major, a major error on my part. Alright. Uh, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. This looks like a game where I could actually go... Tornadus. And... Dragapult looks phenomenal right here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And Tapu Coco looks alright. I'll go Coco just for screens. 
as they decide to go for this, um, I mean, I can just Tailwind up and go for the, hmm. I think I'll just Tailwind up and not risk the speed tie because they could taunt me, right? I'll just Boom Burst, probably knocking out my own Tornadus, but letting me get in Dragapult for free, which is fine by my standards, <laughs> which is fine by my short-sighted game plan, you know? Tailwind up. They Tailwind up. I go for a Boom Burst, likely about to knock out my own Tornadus. They go for the Ice Punch. That's fine, though. In comes Dragapult. Now, what do you do? Tell me what your game plan is. I'll tell you what. You don't have one. You do not have one for this. Go for this uh, Max Phantasm into Maximo, as well as just a uh, another... I can go for another Boom Burst, right? They should drop to this. Plus one Boom Burst, plus Max Phantasm off of Life Orb Dragapult. They should drop even if they Dynamax. I'll go for it. They go for a Taunt. I don't know what they expected there. Max Phantasm does a lot, but unfortunately, not enough to KO. Let's see if they let me keep my X-Plot. That'd be funny. Oh, I outspeed. <laughs> it drops. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> X-Plot, come on. I, what do they have? They have Dracovish, right? But Dracovish can't one-shot Dragapult. Um, I should be fine to win, I think. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm Gucci right now. I really expected to lose matches and have this just be a fun video, and then I can't even have that, you know? We go for the max Airstream to make sure I outspeed Dragapult. I just protect my X-Pod, max Airstream, and then I can spam my funny moves. Max Airstream. You're gonna get Shadow Balled so hard. They go for a Crunch, okay. Alright. Alright. Um, I mean, I can just max Airstream it again. I could also go for, I mean, it'd be nice just to keep a permanently fast x -Bod. Let's just do it. Let me go for Flamethrower. That's actually stronger here. And I'm max airstream into you. Let's see if they try to knock out my boy. This is a scary thing to look at on the other side of the field. That's a scary Pokemon. Are you close combat? Goes for Shadow Claw and knocking out my Dragapult, but I don't care. I already have everything I need to win. I got everything I need to win right here. All right, yeah, double speed x -Blod. I'm I'm good. Uh, let me just go for the Flamethrower into you and the Thunderbolt into you. They go for a stance change. I do not care. Because I'm still faster than their... <laughs> I'm still faster than their Scavalier, so I can just uh, double into it here. Yeah, I should be good. Scavalier isn't typically a great Tailwind Pokemon. As it drops. Dude, why am I... I Like, I know we're low ladder, right? I know we're low ladder. We're like 1478, but... <laughs> there's no reason x should be taking names. Like, granted, we did lose that one match very badly, but... I didn't expect it to even get, like, one win today. Alright. Let's do this again. Um, Clefairy is a big issue for x if I don't protect it well enough. I think I can actually go x Tapu Tapu Coco once more. Um, Tornadus, maybe, possibly good, maybe. I mean, we'll bring Metagross this time, even though there's a Spectre and a Glacier, but I don't know. Uh, in the back here, I feel relatively comfortable just going with... Um... Oh, wait, it's Boop. This is a subscriber. Hi, Boop. All right, uh... What do I go with here? I mean, I could just go with... I mean, Tailwind doesn't seem bad. And the Sash could be useful. But Dragapult, though... Mm, let's just do Dragapult. Alright. This is fine. I'll go for a Boom Burst just to get off my thing. And we're speed tying with this guy, so I'll just go for the Light Screen. Hopefully the Spectre doesn't win the speed tie. Helping hand. Let's see if they're a bulky Spectre. They go for the max strike. Unfortunately, do not get my screen off. Boom Burst is not going to help me either. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get plus one. But they're also at plus one here, so... 
Um, how do I do this? I could max Dragapult and give myself a speed boost. But it wouldn't help me out too much. Especially since I can just redirect. I would assume my play here is to... Hmm... Because they can definitely one-shot my x Blad. I don't think I max x Blad under any circumstances, but I want to. I really want to. Let me try this. Let me go for a max strike on their Clefairy and protecting. Because they can't lower my speed on my Metagross. And they just knock me out, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. This should KO the Clefairy. And lowers their speed. Isn't Dynamax meta fun? Yee. Yeah. Let me get in my Dragapult. Alright, now Dragapult feels pretty safe. Take out Glacier. Or not Glacier, Spectre. Um, but x it's it's kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of bad right now. There's the Urshifu. I mean... Sucker Punch coming my way, pretty certain. I can go for a Max Strike on the Urshifu and try to Phantom Force their Spectre. That feels safe, but it also feels like an awful play. Hmm, how do I do this? I'll just Phantom Force and hope they don't sucker. They close combat. That's going to knock me out. GG. Well played. So, so far, we're noticing that the team is actually bad. Right? The team is definitely bad, but... But... Let me try to see if they lock themselves into Sucker Punch. Because they're definitely banded. Yep, <laughs> no choice. All right. Oh, there was no reason not to just do that in case maybe they were Sash and they wanted to make a prediction. But switching out, I, like if if I were to go for a protect on their Sucker Punch, there was a chance I could get them to sort of like tilt that way, if that makes sense. All right, uh, as we're facing Venicol with x <laughs> let see how well this goes. Uh, I mean, Telepathy Coco isn't very good for stopping the sun, like the, the sleep powder, because Telepathy and not like the good item. I could just go with Tornadus lead and feel okay with that, you know? This team does so bad versus Venucol. I don't know why I didn't even consider that in team building. I don't know, but like leave a like for x doing his best. I didn't have a team ready for today, so I was digging through my old teams and I was like, what do I have? What is this? Oh, this one, the bad one. Let's use it, you know? Still, you know, managed to pick up a couple of wins so far. Let me drop a GLHF. I mean, they could go Trick Room, and I can't really stop the Trick Room because Prankster Taunt uh, won't be able to hit him through Psychic Train. So my options are limited in this matchup. And they're also taking their time, picking their lead. They're like, what does X-Bot do? I, I couldn't tell them, to be honest. x is just there. He's doing his best. As they lead off Dusclops and DD Female. That's whatever. Um, I'll just play under Trick Room. I'll get in my Dragapult and Boom Burst. Kind of wish I brought Coco now for the um, screens. That could have been good. I just didn't really see it pulling its weight considering uh, Venusaur could come out and absolutely wreck me, you know? If the Electric Train was there, then it might be useful, but with Telepathy, it's it's just kind of eh, you know? I feel like Telepathy Coco could be used with Lando on like an actual team, but not on this team. Telepathy Coco might be able to be a decent pick later on, just for the sake of being able to Earthquake next to it. I do like no damage there. They go for Expanding Force, and Trick Room up. 
here is where I sack my Dragapult and probably Dynamax Landers. I could also just go for, hmm. Let me think. I might have to max Tornadus in the end game if they end up having Venusaur. But, um, I don't know. I really thought they would, I, mean, I guess there was no reason to follow me, you know? My play is not to max Phantasm. I might have to Dynamax Landorus here. Let me protect. And I think I'm going to sack. Just go for a Dragon Darts. Get in the AV Lando. Do I lose much by staying in with this? I could just go for, like, Max Quakes. You know, I'm gonna sack the Tornadus and try to win with. <laughs> I'm trying to win in the end game with um, with Lando, and uh, like Max Airstream next to X Bot and hope that that works out for me. Not Max Airstream. Let me uh, sack Tornadus. This is probably an awful play, by the way. I'm definitely gonna get burned. Yep, there it is. Gonna boost my special defense just a bit. And Psychic Train still up, so it's not like I can taunt, but uh, a Max Quake should do the job here on the Indeedee. I suppose I can just Air Slash for damage. Or I could even just Tailwind. I don't really lose much from Tailwinding this turn. It'll help me out later on. Because Trick Room ends in a second here. Let me get in the X-Blood. They're definitely just going to set up Trick Room again. I recognize that, but <laughs> I gotta try. I mean, what do they have in the back? Their own Lando. Um, maybe they won't Trick Room. It's likely they will, though. So let me go for the Protect. The Max Airstream and the Dust Clops for damage. Maybe they think I have Ice Beam X Blood. I mean, it's, it's pretty likely they're just gonna... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's pretty likely they just Dynamax here. They go for a Nightshade. Get a nice little speed boost there. And I'm just gonna accept defeat by Boom Bursting and uh, U-turning on my own x -Blood. I'm gonna U-turn out of this game and out of this video. I think uh, I think we've seen enough clownery for today with the x -Blood team. Can I U-turn on my own x -Blood real quick? I'm just getting ready to U-turn out of the game. You turned out. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I know it was a bit of a shorter video, but I wanted to try something wacky out. And it was it was fun, you know. I got a couple of wins, more than I really thought I would in the first place. Um, in the coming days, I'll be practicing for Players' Cup 3. I've been practicing already. I'm using this Goliath Pod team. Uh, and it's been taking names. But uh, if you guys want to actually keep up with, like, my, you know, serious practice sessions, uh, that is a Patreon perk right now. I'll be uploading... Um, really long showdown lives where I'm just using this team on the ladder and doing my best. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and that subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content and uh, join the Discord. Do whatever you want. Let me know if you enjoyed that stupid Reggie Alecki meme from earlier today. Have a nice one. Bye.